Addressing his subjects, Ephesa Moore II acknowledged the mercies and grace of God which had kept him going in his 63 years of service to the people in the midst of life's times, and thanked the Owa people and the traditional rulers of various kingdoms in the state for their support. The Owa monarch, who is also the chairman of the Delta North Traditional Rulers Forum and immediate past chairman of the Delta State Traditional Rulers Council, said the New Yam Festival presented an opportunity to thank God for a bountiful harvest, adding that the traditional rites had been carried out according to our custom. The royal father, who decried the hardship faced by citizens whose livelihoods were being affected by the rising spate of insecurity in the country, appealed to the relevant authorities to put an end to the development while also appealing to the well-to-do to be their brother's keepers and support one another. He thanked Governor Fanny Okoa for his efforts at developing a car land and Delta State in general and urged the Owa people to contribute their quota to national development as everyone had a role to play in promoting growth, peace and security. My role since 63 years has been that of a promoting peace, promoting unity, bringing about development. I'm a very strong advocate of a development peace and progress. We have introduced community development. We have introduced vigilantes, security vigilantes, so that at all levels we will be able to police our communities. I think if we adopt this principle of be your brother's keeper, the government can make progress. Individuals can make progress. The country eventually can make progress. In a message on the topic, the story behind the glory, the Anglican Bishop of the Ica Diocese, the Right Reverend Godfrey Ebenisi, represented by the Vicar of the St. James Anglican Church Abo, Venerable Jonathan Adudu, urged the people to acknowledge God as the source of their position and authority, educate the upcoming generation, and continue to trust God for the future. That is acknowledging God in the success story, in the journey to the throne and journey on the throne. And today our kingdom has emerged so strongly, established by the Lord himself. Traditional rulers and groups who came from far and near to pay homage to the monarch wished him continued health and life. In line with his annual empowerment program for his people, the royal father presented cash gifts to 300 indigents comprising 150 men and 150 women drawn from various communities in our land. The event featured the cotton of the coronation cake, special prayers and dance performances. Ephesoma II is the 17th OB of our land. Eunice Emiazia reporting.